Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to my channel that is Deb Chanel's 48th World and we're going to get right on into this subject. We're going to be talking about Andy Cohen on Watch What Happens Live and of course Cynthia Bailey on The Real Housewives of Atlanta and I am talking about what or they got cooking up in that kitchen. Okay. Yes. I'm talking about Miss Noel coming out in social media trending. These are her two parents. This is the situation we have with Mike, Andy, and Cynthia. Uh, are they cooking up a scheme to use um, Cynthia Bailey's daughter's fluency or her being fluid? Or her embracing the LGBT community at her young age. Saying that she is bisexual. She loves loving on women. Okay. Now, of course, she's in her early 20s. That girl, meaning Noelle, don't know what she want out there. Now, she was in her middle 30s. I could solidify myself and saying, okay, she should know what she uh, once as far as her sexuality on which way she thinks she wants to float but she looked just as cute as she was when she was back there looking like she was about 10 or 12 in that shot but you can tell she's trying to make her mother happy uh, in a sense where she's taking or following in her footsteps of the modeling career. She's throwing her education far as going to post-secondary schooling, getting her education on. I think she only did one year, but I don't know. They might be lying about that because she was, I don't know. It's like Noelle was here, there, and everywhere when it came to her being in college so i don't know if she even really com completed a year but if she did okay good but they got her on social media with her so-called girlfriend and i know y'all gonna look at me and say no you wrong for that but i've been looking at leon lately and i'm thinking do he have a little sugar in his tank I'm just asking y'all, fam, help me out. Because I, I, for the life of me, I can't see why him and Cynthia never really bonded and got into a marriage, even if it didn't last long. But I'm, I'm rethinking that thing. Maybe her uh, dad, Noel's dad, is gay. And he just keeping it on the low, like they used to say how Luther Vandross was. But he never wanted to come out to his fans because he felt he would lose the female audience. But, honey, he, he wouldn't have lost me. I would have been up there with that. I've been like that. Ooh, Luther. Ooh, Luther. I would have been right there, honey. When he did that, I would have been, okay, Luther. Okay, honey. Okay, because what you do behind the closed door ain't got shit to do with me. Just entertain me. I'm cool. Because I don't really want Luther be sitting up there doing his little thing. Whether it's the fat Luther or the skinny Luther. And I be thinking about my own man or who I'm into. I don't be looking at Luther like that. But that voice, that voice would get me every time. His voice, my imagination of the particular guy I'm messing with or the guy I want to mess with. Woo! That makes for a hot, dirty scene right there. But anyway. And I'm thinking, well, did Noelle get traumatized by her mother not being with her daddy? Then she wasn't with Peter for long. Then she had all these other different men coming in because she was on Real Housewives of Atlanta. So we were kind of getting introduced to several other men with Cynthia trying to follow a storyline and this, that, and the third. And then, you know, now it's Mike. So I'm thinking... Um, well, welcome you all again to Dale Chanel's 40s, where if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so at this time. Like and share my videos. But y'all remember that time? I know I'm jumping off everywhere and, and, and nowhere, right? really. But y'all remember when Nene them went out there for gay pride and Cynthia called herself taking Noel up there, which it seemed like it was scripted because Noel came out in that same uh, episode or, or episode before that saying she was fluent. <laughs> She would up there getting her groove on at Howard University instead of studying her ass off. She would giving her ass up, okay, instead of studying her ass off. But y'all yeah, remember when they went up there and uh, uh, Nene had approached, um, what's her name, Noelle on the float and everything. And then when Nene left from up there with them, she um, asked her mother, was it okay for her to have said or spoken 
to Nene. And Cynthia was trying to be on a hush hush because she knows she was being taped. She knew she was uh, wired up or mic'd up, I should say. She's like, yeah, Nene didn't do nothing to you. You didn't do nothing to Nene. You were okay with speaking to her. And I said, you see, that's that little child mentality sneaking out on Noel. So are we really believing that Noel knows what she wants in this point of time? Those are some sharp ass glasses on Cynthia, ain't they? Mm, I like those. I wonder that come from her. Uh, eyewear complexion or her eyewear um what do you call it catalog but anyway just going back to the situation yeah so if noelle wasn't securing herself knowing that her mother and nene were good friends at one time but if she see nene in the street or whatnot whether she speak to her it should be a no-brainer you know what i'm saying unless nene don't hit her mama upside the head or you know did a assault charge or did something to her very foul there's no reason for uh nowhere to felt like she couldn't say hey to nene i mean come on so you really believe in me with that type of mentality that she had right there that she's really ready to be in a same-sex relationship <laughs> <laughs> I'm with Peter like Lord have mercy okay now if you just know who you are that's you all day every day then cool but I don't think I think nowhere went up there very confused uh when she left home because she really didn't want to leave home and then she messed up a semester she had to come, come out of school and then I guess they sent her back but I'm like y'all don't, don't uh Leon look kind of questionable I've been watching him. I've just been watching him. And he just hadn't been with nobody. And I can't see his fine behind. Not with nobody. Whether it's the same sex or whether it's a female. But you know we all looking at Leon. That he's uh, heterosexual. But in, in reality he might be a homosexual. And I'm like okay. So is it the reason why Cynthia took it so well? It's because her dad has already been there and we already know Cynthia said she swam in the later pool for here and there but she didn't look like she liked it very well because she wasn't like really uh trying to talk about it that much even though she f uh flirt with candy and she said she had to go that way she would want candy as a partner but I think she was just saying that I don't think Cynthia really uh care about being in that life herself and you know if your child come to you what you gonna do what you gonna do if they say they um gay now you can't do nothing but love them and and hopefully that they're um really true to that what they say they are and they just not experimenting and they think they're you know doing it because you know that community right there they have a lot to fuss with they have a lot of hate crimes going on against them so you know either you with them or you're not but it's not something i think you should be dibbing and dabbing out of it because that's just like to me when you marry somebody out your race say a caucasian man and i'm black or whatnot and we go and try to have this inner racial type relationship and then we already got people looking at us all funny and crazy we got to deal with that and then if you're not in it to win it as they say then you're doing more harm than good because you know that person is dependent on you to love them in a sense and you love them back but that's another whole story for another whole video but i'm like it's andy cohen trying to help out cynthia for a new storyline i mean we all know Cynthia ain't got no storyline. Not really. She can't be no bone collector. She can't be nobody that, like, you want to watch that's getting people told off and, and served up on a platter uh, verbally. You know, we know Cynthia ain't like that. But uh, I'm like, is she trying to pimp out her daughter for a storyline, y'all? Now, I think that's so wrong because, first of all, I don't think Noelle need to be out in social media flaunting herself to be a LGBT community uh, person unless she really is truly representing it. I'm thinking it's a big lie, a big fat lie for a storyline. I'm with Nene on that because I, I just don't get it, you know. Uh, I mean, it can happen. I mean, you could experiment all day long, but how do you know? that you are that way you know what i'm saying just in the course of being out at howard university for a semester you know what i'm saying she had to be pretty lonely to go and sit and want to be attracted unless like i said she was already attracted in her high schooling days but i don't know it just seemed like you know 
is nowhere trying to play an acting part. Is she trying to show her acting skills? But, you know, I, who took this picture is what I'm trying to say. Did Cynthia take this picture? Did she videotape uh, her daughter interacting with her girlfriend? I mean, Cynthia, don't use your daughter as a storyline. Don't let Andy Cohen over there goop you into thinking this will be an amazing storyline. This will be a teachable moment for uh, any young girl. Yeah, that's the um, girl. I think her name is Alexis Powell. Supposed to be uh, Noelle's girlfriend or whatnot. I mean, she kind of looked all cute here, y'all. Not just saying she ain't cute, you know, in her later photo. But, yeah, I'm like, who turned her out? You know what I'm saying? Because she looked like that. Now, she like, she Hulk. You know, Hulk Alexis. I'm like, good God. You know, all muscular and shit. I'm like, damn, no way are you getting like that. Seeing like you want a dude versus a, a female. But, you know, I, I ain't saying nothing, you know. That ain't the life I live. Try to understand it and, and, and you know, move on and whatnot. But I'm like, hmm. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. To me, I'm thinking. See, here we go again, y'all. Look at that picture real good. Y'all think Leon is on the down low. That he's bisexual. He like both girls and, uh, well, women and men. I don't know. I don't know. Because both of her, like I said, her, her mama knows she done confessing being in the later pool here and there. I don't know. You know, Papa Smurf. Uh, you know, I have a little... Peter, nah, he man, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, I don't know. Mike could be, I think he's an alpha male, but he could have been poked here and there. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Because Mike just, I don't know. He just weird. He on another spectrum of weirdness that I can't even get with. I almost like a little pervert or something. I don't know. I can't get with Mike. But yeah, Cynthia, that's what I want to know. That's what I want to know, girl. Because I'm going to tell you, stop in the name of love. Find you another storyline because is Mike putting his other two daughters out there, his biological daughters, even though you're saying one of them's supposed to be, well, I think one of them's already living in L.A. and then the other one's supposed to be coming, moving down as well. But are they going into the acting field? Are they going into the entertainment field? I mean, I don't know. I think Noelle need to have her butt in school somewhere, you know, instead of trying to be a, a YouTube sensation. And or model. I mean, why can't she go to school and do both? You know what I'm saying? They got online school. Think about it, Cynthia. When modern careers are over or whatnot, look what you had to do. You had to get on a ratchet TV show to keep your income coming in. Because the calls were not being, uh, I'm sure, uh, lucrative for you as you got older. Because, you know, just like ballet, same thing with uh, modeling. Once you hit over a certain age, I want to say 27, they pretty much look at you like, I don't know, you might be a catalog model, but no, nah, I don't know, girl. I don't know. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I don't know, Cynthia. I mean, what are you doing with uh, Noelle, girl? I think that's pretty unfair for you to be trying to pimp her out for a storyline. I mean, I know you're boring as hell, and we still trying to wait to see what you and Mike trying to do far as getting married but that's another story i gotta talk about with the fam gotta get fam over here and try to tell me what's going on with you coming up in a couple of more episodes talking about are you telling mike are you serious are you really ready for a true faithful type of relationship I'm like where they come from cynthia hey we've been trying to tell you that before you accepted the engagement ring now you want to play uh like you got some sense like you really thinking this thing through Girl, I don't know. I don't know. You might be another casualty at war. Because he ain't got no good track record. He done been divorced twice. But I don't know what y'all think, uh, fam. What y'all think? No way of just playing a little storyline. If she just dipping and dabbing and she don't know really what she wants. When it comes to being in love. on um uh, with um 
how we could say um how she's trying to live her life whether it's with a man or a woman that ain't no storyline for you to be telling we don't need to see that i think that's personal because if it don't come or stay in fruition that she wants to be in a relationship with a female then and she shows back up with a male that's too much for her to be explaining on tv because that's her private life now you chose to put your life on tv i mean hell gonna let um nowhere become a part of the what you call it hip-hop of atlanta if she wants to get out in the spotlight let noelle tell her own story when it comes to uh being fluid fluid or messing with the same sex type of having a relationship don't you tell her story that's not your story to tell cynthia so i'm still trying to figure out who put these pictures of you and your uh your daughter and her girlfriend on instagram that's what I want to know. Who, 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 was it you, Cynthia? You should be ashamed of yourself. Anything, it should have been on Noelle's page. And she put it out there. But you taking pictures, putting it of your daughter online, girl. Don't be no fool, Cynthia. Don't be no fool. Don't, don't do that to your daughter. Because right now, she's young. She's impressionable. She really don't know what she wants. And with her father looking like he questionable out there, I don't know. Because I don't know if we need to take your call or not, Cynthia, for being a, a parent, an overseer of a parent. Because, I don't know, you got her up there living with Mike and you ain't even married to the man. But y'all say it's platonic. So, we're going to go with that. But we're going to go in to see what BlackAmericaWeb.com had to say about Cynthia Bailey meets daughter Noelle Robinson's girlfriend. Okay, now this was put out for us on the 18th of January, but you know how I go, how I flow. Sometimes I don't necessarily get there on time. But anyway, I think that me or Cynthia a little finger sticking out of that photo trying to put her baby girl on spotlight like that. And Noelle ain't even got her picture her face to the camera. Now I said, Cynthia, you do too much. You do, and then her dad, uh, damn, I'm finna call him Jackie Robinson. Uh, Leon, he should be ashamed of himself for letting you publish something like that. But once you publish it, you can't take it back. You can't take it because somebody don't got a copy of it. All right. But well, we're going to get on into this story um, that Black America Web put out. And I was trying. Okay, it's by Sharice uh, Frazier was written up 16 hours ago all right her title for her article cynthia bailey meets daughter noelle's robinson girlfriend okay months after coming out to her family noelle robinson brought her alleged girlfriend home to meet her mom real housewives of atlanta star cynthia bailey bailey's fiance uh, fox sports host mike hill and hill's daughter kayla and ashley okay he ain't putting Kayla and Ashley on front street. He ain't keeping them in the social media eye. Cynthia, watch your baby girl. That's the only child you got. Don't lose her to the media. Don't lose her to trending topics. Don't lose. Because right now, sometimes she on her um, little postings she put out there that somehow gets on my feed or whatnot. Maybe because I did stories on you and her before. She out there looking like an Instagram thought. You know what I'm saying? She wearing less and less of clothes. They, uh, I don't know if she allowing herself to be photographed like that. Thinking it's cute, but it's not. It's like ashy, trashy type of shit. And your daughter's too classy. Got a brain. Level-headed. She don't need to be in that type of industry, Cynthia. But anyway, going back to the article. It says, a photo of Noelle 20 and Alexis Powell, a recent Howard graduate, was shared on social media. Showing the two enjoying what looks like a family gathering with drinks and food. Noelle and Alexis may have met during Noelle's short time at Howard before she left school for other career pursuits. Okay, need to have kept her butt down. At least she need to be online going to school. Okay, I'm just saying. I mean, every post-secondary education ain't for everybody. I get it, got it good. But I could see if Noelle was taking the time to travel around the world and become a well-rounded individual. But she ain't even doing that. She just jumped right into the scene trying to follow her mama because she wants to emulate her mom. She wants to seem like she want to do everything her mom has done and want to acquire that as well. I'm like, Noelle, do you really want to end up on a ratchet um, reality show that's going to make you do, say, 
and, and get it, everything to get that money. Girl, okay. Okay, and then your dad, he's in the acting field, so it ain't too much better for you. But we'll keep you in prayer, Noel. We'll keep you in prayer. All right, but anyway, um... It goes on to say, people try to box everyone in and put labels on everything, but I don't really do that. Noelle said in the clip, I just like who I like, and that's just what it is. There's a lot of attractive guys, and there's a lot of attractive girls. Okay, that's what Noelle had said in the article, and I totally agree with her. But Noelle, you're in your 20s, baby. You're going to be floating here, there, and everywhere. Just as long as you don't be messing with no animals, okay? Don't be messing with no animals out there. But anyway, going back to the article, say Bailey took in Noelle's admission with understanding, warmth, and proving that her daughter truly has a safe haven to be herself. But well, why wouldn't she, Cynthia? Why? You going to throw her out? Like you throw the baby out with the bath? What, that's what we doing now, Cynthia? So your response to that was like, are you living in the dark ages, honey? I don't know, Cynthia. I don't know, because even saying that shouldn't have been said. Because I would have been like, what? You what? Girl, what? That's how I would have reacted. Because I would have been totally shocked. Like, you know, who? Like my daughter, when she first had told me she had had sex. And I thought she was still a virgin. Girl, I almost tore up a curve. I had to pull over real quick. <laughs> It's like the car had a mind of its own. Before I knew it, I was in the parking lot. I didn't know how I got there. Because I thought my daughter, I sure did. I thought she was still a virgin girl. So, how Cynthia just smoothly took her daughter telling her she don't like men at this time. She like women. And how she took it and, and, and had it. I mean, that shit was scripted as hell. Because you let somebody come home telling you some stuff like that to your parents. That ain't going to go over that smooth. Because you, first of all, you're going to be shocked as hell. Like, what? What? Okay. And then you have to go in the mood of adjusting and, and going on with your life because your kids going to do what they want to do. Okay, they are. They truly are. You're going to have to accept it however you can accept it. And that's it. But you should always show your child love, support, and all those good things. Okay? But going back to the article, that was just my sidebar. Um... Cynthia also said that Noel's father, actor Leon Robinson, stands in solidarity with his daughter, although the conversation at first took some getting used to for the family. Uh, now, I'm sure that had to come from Leon's side because how what Cynthia told her here, she was just happy for her. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like everything happy is rainbow, unicorns, and, and lollipops running around there. All right. So it is what it is. All right. Going back to the article, it says Cynthia was asked about her daughter's deeply personal admission during multiple interviews where she maintained that she supports Noelle wholeheartedly. Okay. Um, and then we go on to say, I've always tried to be the kind of parent to Noelle to make her feel like she can't tell me anything. Yes, yeah, she does, Cynthia. She tell you you nasty, especially when you're trying to make that uh, uh, avocado dip or guacamole she wanted. You tried to put your finger in it or put the bowl, uh, uh, finger back in the bowl. She told your ass up, Cynthia. She said, That's nasty, Mama. Give me the whole. Just give it to me. Don't don't do na don't do nothing. Yes, yeah, she did. Then when she taught you that you had low self esteem. <laughs> you were trying to dump Peter. I was like, oh my goodness, child. So you pretty much you can't, you have to give what Noel is serving up to you and, and, and go on about your business, child. Because you the child, Noel is the parent. All right. That was just my sidebar, not in this article. But then we go on where it says, I've always tried to be the kind of parent to Noel to make her feel like she can tell me anything, Bailey said, during an episode of People's TV Reality Check. I didn't talk about sex with my mom, let alone my sexuality or anything like that. So I really wanted to make sure that she felt comfortable talking to me about it. And she did, as you saw. And I'm like, so Cynthia, why are we constantly doing interviews out there? I think it's a private thing between you and your daughter. They should be asking her those questions not you Cynthia you, know, you should be like uh we're not going to ask that question that's private between me and my daughter if she wants to come out and talk about it then you know go ahead let have but once you do one interview that's enough we don't need to keep uh recycling it rehashing it okay but anyway moving on back to the article it said um Cynthia did share that she wanted to make sure that Noelle's story came from her and not for someone on social media through a secret recording. See, Cynthia, you stupid as hell. We ain't on Snake Gate no more. You know what I'm saying? And no, it shouldn't have come from you. You should not have introduced it to the world. That should have been no L's. Uh, 
story to tell her narrative her book to write on herself and her own love life that's not one that you do that you put out on social media then you try to play it up for a storyline on real housewives of atlanta that's tacky that's fake fraudulent foolishness and you name a fuckery cynthia my four else i give them to you double time all right but anyway going back to the story it says as soon as i knew this was a life choice and and this is who she is i was like you tell your own story that you don't have to worry about anyone else telling it for you she said but what are you doing cynthia you breaking out her story honey you going around doing interviews on your daughter we have yet to see her uh be out in the uh, social media world talking about it on different uh, media outlets okay such as how you're going on uh promotion here and there instead of them asking you about when you and mark gonna be setting a date or whatnot have y'all done all y'all preparations you going around here talking about your daughter's girlfriend alexis powell that's her guys if y'all didn't know that's noelle's allegedly girlfriend that she's going around here talking about she's sexually fluid with okay but noelle's not really announcing it as much she just did it on real housewives of atlanta that's why i'm saying it's andy cohen pimping you out cynthia to get that storyline and you all are giving the go ahead to sneak her in just put the girl want to be a part of it hell you know candy candy and over she or she have been over there loving hip hop atlanta forever going to see if they have an opening for noel so she can go on tv and then she can see what exploitation is really about and what she really has to go through to get that little dollar okay that dollar of money where she wants to be an entrepreneur in the entertainment world okay then she might rethink it cat her butt back to school and go on and live her best life but hey i'm not a mother so i can only give my advice over here now fam that's all i had of this story what y'all think y'all think andy coin is streamlining streamlining something as a storyline for cynthia bailey to partake of using her daughter noel do you think cynthia is that fake fraudulent fuckery foolish enough to fall for the bait because what happened to her and what's his name uh her fiance mike hill's dating game that was supposed to be coming out i know it's still early in the year this is february but you know just like january whooped in and whooped out february gonna do the same so when is this uh dating show coming into fruition so she can get off her daughter know well about her sexuality and just plastering it everywhere and on her job site bravo true entertainment because anything if we talking about my situation i need to get paid that's what noel need to be telling her mama and andy i need my own paycheck y'all ain't gotta you know say anything about it or whatnot but mama i need my paycheck you're gonna talk about my storyline and have me featured in it and showing evidence of you know my mate or who i'm congregating with right now i need to get paid i need to get paid mama that's what she need to be telling cynthia that's right, Noel. Get that money from your mama. She's going to exploit you uh, for a storyline. Then get your money, girl. Get your money. But that's all I have for this video, y'all. Y'all get down in them comments and tell me what y'all thought about it. Do y'all think uh, Noel is uh, letting her mom pimp her out generously to Real Housewives of Atlanta for a storyline? And Leon is okay with it? I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I don't know, hon. I don't know if all these parents these days want to keep getting money, but then they want to use their children store for a storyline. Cynthia, I'm so ashamed of you. I am, girl. I am. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all thought about it. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see y'all next video. Okay. Bye-bye.